my name is Steven Arts and I work for Humancore Precious Metals Refining. And as the name says, Humancore Precious Metals Refining is mainly active in precious metals. We are a end refiner, so if you look at the e-waste activities, we are really focusing at the end recovery step of electronic scrap, more in particular the scrap containing precious metals like printed circuit boards and cell phones. What we try to um, advise to the whole recycling chain is that they pay good attention to a good or even a maximum recovery of the precious metals. Not only for the value, because the precious metals they are in electronic waste on a ppm level so gram per ton level only and many of the precious metals in particular gold is a critical metal it's a scarce metal uh, it's it's also a conflict metal if you take it from uh, no proper origins so as an entry refiner we try to advise the upstream recycling companies that they pay attention to maximum recovery well good ethics it starts with good ethics. You know, Humicor Precious Metals Refining, we have a conflict-free smelter approval for gold. That means that we have set in place um, measurements that we audit and uh, check our business partners that they source gold out of electronic scrap or out of other materials that come from proper integer uh, origins. And of course, one of the criteria of our business partners that they are ethical. The size of the company and the way they deal with the e-waste or with the material, that's their choice. That's not that important, but the ethics. In total 17, but not all 17 come out of e-waste. So if you look at e-waste, um, typically the elements that we recover is silver, gold and palladium, which are three precious metals. Um, and on top of that also copper. Uh, these are four metals that we pay also to the customer. Besides that, we recover tin, we also take out the antimony, which is part of the flame retarding plastics. Um, um, uh, nickel, if there's nickel inside, we also recover the nickel. And last but not least, the plastic from electronic scrap. There's always a huge amount of plastics involved that cannot reco be recovered by others. We use it as a substitute for fuel in our furnace, which is a useful uh, application as well. I think it's very interesting. Um, I've also participated at other e-waste academies uh, and other e-waste workshops of this kind. And indeed, I think the fact that you're dealing with a lot of mainly starting entrepreneurs from different cultures, with different perspectives, with different approaches. Um, although I'm an expert, I also learn a lot from them and it gives also inspiration for us to, for instance, have another approach in certain culture or a certain market.